This is at the Trump rally at the University of Illinois Chicago Pavilion, where Trump elected not to show because of the protesters. And there's a lot of dispute about the facts on the ground, as we say, but this image certainly marks a real turn in the campaign. One thing that I really liked about this image is, to me, it reads as the new democratic coalition. I mean, one of the narratives that's emerging mm. right now is how political coalitions may be about to go through a big shift with respect mm. to gender and ethnicity um, as it relates to Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. And right now, you know, the love Trump's hate is was Hillary Clinton's anti-Trump slogan. Um, and then we've got the Bernie supporter mm -hmm. with the Bernie sign there. And I think it's a prelude to this could be a very formidable coalition if it coalesces. It's interesting that you point that out because even in the image, you know, if you look at the various t-shirts and things people are wearing and mm -hmm. obviously the sign, you can see the hints of that. There's a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. Right? Mm -hmm. We have women wearing hijabs. We have the Bernie sign. We have a woman at the top with the red hair who yeah. is wearing a t-shirt yeah. that has a kind of feminist theme. And it's not like a bunch of groups that are separate are kind of doing their own thing and happen to be in the same space. There's very much mm -hmm. a kind of collaboration and, and the moment that they're celebrating is the moment where they've realized that Trump is not coming. There's another interesting detail to this um, when you look at the the signs, the Bernie sign and the love Trump's hate. You see how they've, they've all been folded up because these are people who obviously mm -hmm. snuck these signs into mm -hmm. this rally. That's a nice little you know anthropological detail. Savannah Downing brought up Trump's tweet about this which said why is it that the horrendous protesters who scream, curse, punch, shut down roads, doors during my rallies are never blamed by media? Sad. So I think it's really important to note how different people read the same images depending on their political beliefs. So two people can look at this picture very differently. This picture is, this is hope again. Maybe the people from the right wouldn't say that. They would say this is more like triumphalism for disruption and they would see this as subversive depending on your view but there's also joy there's hope there